What is good, everybody? Today, we're back with brand new WWE action figure news, and it feels like every single day that I wake up, every single day, it's like there's a brand new bit of news to cover, but it, it means more stuff, more stuff for us, more things to collect out there for our community, as always, man, but we have some pretty cool stuff revealed to us, and honestly, dropped out of nowhere. It's like an RKO, just drive from the top rope, from the top rope, didn't expect this at the slightest, and they have dropped a brand new ringside exclusive WWE Ultimate Edition 2-pack that we've been waiting on for a very long time, man. We're going to get into it. We're going to break down all the details, man. But if you guys missed it already, we have a brand new Ultimate Edition 2-pack from Ringside Collectibles, and it is going to be none other than the Steiner Brothers. Yes, Ringside Exclusive Ultimate Edition 2-pack. This is a set that we have been waiting on for so long. I feel like, you know, we, we got their elites. We, we had our Scott Steiner in Elite 105. We had our Rick Steiner. We've been breaking it down. And we finally have Steiner brother figures. Now, I know that this this is honestly kind of feels like a fever dream because I feel like people have been fantasy booking this and wanting this and wanting this every time I ever post up. What do you want to see at Comic-Con? What do you want to see revealed? Where do you want? What would you like to see from Mattel? This is always one of the top answers that I always get. And it is finally happening and they're up for pre-order if you guys want to go pre-order these you can do so over ringside collectibles use promo code md toys but we're going to break down all of the news here and talk about it now being an ultimate edition two pack again and it really i mean these guys look you know they didn't give us any warning on these they didn't really tease these it was just out of nowhere you know for the nwo or the outsiders and for the usos i feel like they revealed those way beforehand and they were you know they tease them they talk about how here's the renders or here's what's coming and we get updates and here's the prototypes and here they are and all these different things but with these they just dropped the damn they just dropped them out of nowhere like I said it was just completely kept close to the belt I had no ideas about this I you know we didn't have any news I had no ideas that this was coming whatsoever so this was a huge surprise for me but this is pretty damn sick man pretty damn sick I am loving the way these look and I think the execution is pretty flawless. I mean, it's pretty flawless. I, I really don't see anything that I don't like or that, I, you know, is kind of, you know, bothering me to a T. I don't think I've really seen anybody online kind of complaining about anything. And just looking at them, they they just look phenomenal. They really do. And we're going to break down all of the details here as we look at both Steiners here. I love the gear choices. I love the head sculpts. These are all brand new head sculpts. These are brand new tool jackets. We have a lot of brand new stuff going on right here. And looking at Rick's boots, his boots look new to me. These look like new boots to me. I, and it's kind of different. You really have to pay attention, but they are definitely new. And I would like to see the boots that Rick is wearing. I'd like to see those implemented on both sides. You'll notice that obviously his style, he had the, you know, the one higher, the one lower. I don't, I don't think we've ever seen that from a Mattel figure before. I'm trying to think off the top of the dome if we've ever seen something similar to that where, you know, you had the one higher boot and the one lower boot on opposite sides of a Mattel figure. But it looks so good. I can tell in that boot mode, that is a brand new boot mode. I can't tell on Scott. I don't think Scott's are new. Scott's look like traditional Ultimate Edition boots that I think we've seen before. But Rick's, for some reason, are looking a bit new to me. So I think they completely tooled those new. I think we are getting, you know, some some new torsos here on these guys as well, these singlet torsos. A lot of people saying that, oh, now that we have these singlet torsos, now we're going to be getting a Kurt Angle of some sort with this, you know, with this Scott Steiner torso. And I guess you you might can make like a wrestling machine Kurt Angle. Now, I don't think these biceps would work for Kurt Angle, you know, the Scott Steiner massive arms. But these guys look ridiculous, man. They look absolutely ridiculous with all their bells and whistles going on. Again, they come with three interchangeable heads. You do get their Letterman jackets in there, which, you know, you can say what you want to say. They're not going to be able to put the damn Block M on there. And I think that it was probably smart not to put anything on there. I think that's probably the way to go if you are Mattel and you're creating these figures. I think that is the way to go so that you don't have to, you don't run into any issues, you know. I think they did a phenomenal job. Even like the colors, man. The colors on the singlets look really sick. I, I think they nailed it. They nailed it. I think World Tag Titles would have been cool. I think, you know, including World Tag Championships would have been money. But I think that they nailed it for the most part. And like the, the yellow on the jackets does match the actual Michigan M block logo. As a, college, as a college sports fan, as a massive college sports fan, roll tide. The yellow they're using on those jackets would match the block M. But the Letterman's jackets, man, the, the, the faux leather that they have going on, the way they fit the figures, I think that they have completely nailed these. And there's so many different ways that you could put these in the collection as well. And I cannot wait to see exactly what comes of this. Now, the, I feel like the cat's out of the bag now. Are they? I know that we've been waiting 
waiting on Steiner Brother Ultimate Edition figures for a very long time, but now, now that these are out there, I think everybody in the world can sleep at night. You know, everybody was kind of worried about Rick Steiner and, and how, are they going to get more figures out there and all these different things, but now that the Ultimate Editions are out, I think everybody could probably sleep at night now. I think a lot of people were worried, you know, are we ever going to get Steiner Brothers, but now that we finally had these, I think everybody can rest, but I don't think this will be the end of, of Rick and Scott Steiner figures. I think we will get more. I think that they're probably, I mean, I guess it depends on if we actually get some sort of announcement of a crowdfund. My gut is telling me that we're probably going to get some sort of announcement at San Diego Comic-Con about the next crowdfunder. Not a complete, here's all the details, here's what we're doing, but at every Comic-Con, it seems like there's something pretty damn big that they reveal. Like last year, it was the basics. You know, they revealed the basics deal, and they talked about the Monday Night Wars line. Those were kind of their two headliner sort of deals. We had those, those big box sets that were coming, like the Hogan box set and things like that. So I think that at Comic-Con this year, we are going to see some sort of big announcement, and I don't know what it is. It could be crowdfund related. It could be a brand new wave. It could be, you know, there's going to, of course, there's going to be brand new waves. I'm saying there may be some sort of new line implemented or something like that. I just think that they always try to do something that kind of revolves around their display at Comic-Con, so hopefully maybe we'll get something that revolves around the next crowdfund, and I say all that to say, I think we are going to get some WCW versions of, of Scott Steiner, and we are going to get, you know, possibly that canceled crowdfund Scott Steiner Ultimate Edition out there. They're probably going to put him into some different elite waves and stuff. I think that is definitely going to happen. I could absolutely see that taking place, but now that the the Ultimate Editions are here, and I gl I'm glad that it wasn't just render shots. You know, we didn't have to wait on Comic-Con for them to show us renders, and then six months later, here's some prototypes or whatever the hell it is. They just dropped them out of nowhere. They kept it close to the vest, and then they, bam, they just dropped it on us out of nowhere, like I stated, and I think that's the way to go, man. Sometimes that is the best, and I know that sometimes they have to put up with some shit, like, oh my god, they're never going to make these people. Oh my god. Like, they've had to have known about these for a very long time, right? I mean, it takes a year to make a figure, and they've done a really good job of keeping this one under wraps and just dropping it out of nowhere, but when you compare this to the rest of our Ringside Collectibles 2-packs, I think this is an excellent selection. I thought the Usos were amazing for the time. I think the Outsiders were much needed as a 2-pack. This one will be a much needed 2-pack, and I think, I mean, there's so many other people that they could do, these tag team 2-packs, and hopefully we will get some some more and, and better ones, and maybe we'll get some Coliseum Collectibles Collections down the line that are going to be epic as well. You never know. You never truly know what the hell they got going on behind the scenes, but I know they're always cooking. They're always, you know, implementing new and trying different things. And, you know, they're collectors themselves, so they are going to, you know, try to step outside the box and do some epic stuff. But, you know, I think the jackets are really phenomenal. I'm sure if you really, really want to put the M on there, there's probably a way you could possibly get the M on there. And, you know, the, the cloth jacket makers and the people out there are going to make insane custom Letterman jackets for your Steiner Brothers. But these, as the company, you know, the mass-produced jackets look amazing. I think that, you know, all the colors and everything look damn good. All the gears look good. I'm hyped for these, man. I am truly hyped for these, and I like it. And now, you know, we have a Rick Steiner to match our Braun Breaker. So I think that's epic as well. So there's a whole other deal for you there. But these do look truly phenomenal. You put those World Tag Team Championships with them, they're going to be setting the world on fire. I've seen people, you know, people that uh, they're like, I don't even know who they are, but they're going to be tag champions in my pick fed or something like that. I've seen people talking about that online, so that's that's pretty funny to me. You know, you never know, man. They're going to be tearing the house down, but these are really going to stand out on a shelf as well. I think that, you know, the you know how you just have those certain figures in your collection when they're on a display, they kind of pop off a shelf? You put the jackets on these guys and you stand them back, they're absolutely going to stand out, and I think that they nailed it. So hats off to Ringside Collectibles, hats off to Mattel for absolutely nailing this next Ultimate Edition 2-pack. Now, where do we go from here? I don't know. I don't know who the hell they could do next. Maybe you guys can leave me some suggestions, but I know that this checks a box for a lot of people. A lot of people have been hounding and wanting Steiner Brothers for years, and I mean years upon years. Never thought it would happen, and then when we finally you know, started getting those, we got Scott Steiner revealed as one of the crowdfund figures, and then, you know, people started, you know, fancy booking, like, oh my god, we could actually get Steiners, and then, you know, I, it, they have legitimately been possibly the most requested figure in the last year or two from Mattel, outside of your obvious ones like a new CM Punk or something like that. Steiner Brothers have been up there for everybody, but had to get on here, had to chat about this, talk about the brand new Ultimate Edition 2-pack from Ringside Collectibles, and it is up for pre-order right now. If you go over to Ringside Collectibles, you can pre-order this set if you guys want to. But anyways, guys, I think that is pretty much going to wrap up our news for today. San Diego Comic-Con right around the corner, man. Again, we say it every year, man, as we approach San Diego Comic-Con, the intensity and how fast figures release and how much news comes out is 
ridiculous. It's like a damn conveyor belt of news, and it's just oh, here's a new figure, here's a new figure, here's a new figure, and then the something, and it even it has a different tag. It's like this was leaked, this is revealed, this is releasing, this is shipping, this is being reviewed. So there's a lot of stuff going on, but I'm getting the hell out of here, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I'd love to know your thoughts on the Steiner Brothers down in the comment section below. And of course, huge shout out to our Patreon members, man. Appreciate all the fellas over there. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support. But that is going to wrap the news video on the Steiner Brothers, man. Leave me your thoughts down below. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Toys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you guys later.